Welcome everyone. Off for another day of work. That's just two videos in one in one week, just over a week. What's going on, eh? It's my bag and And the tools. <laughs> Where are we headed, you may ask? We're actually sort of getting it to phone charger. Left that in there. It's a handy little bag, this one. It's very, uh, very good for keeping tools in. And as, as you can see, it's a backpack. Straight on the back. Straight onto the bike. And we're headed to. Sydney's Northern Beaches, um, Avalon Beach to be exact. Uh, what I'm doing up there today is changing some cupboard handles on a um, customers in a customer's kitchen in the house um, this job is an air tasker job um, I can link to the website here and uh, yeah I'm making a bit of money for it um, the amount I make the, the amount the person sort of offered was 150 but after air tasker take their fee I'll make 117, so that's not too bad. Should be a uh, good day. I've got, I'm going to be up there at 10:30. It's currently just on 8:30 a.m. Um, so got plenty of time to get up there. I've also, got to go to the ATM on the way. And while I'm up there, I might head up to Palm Beach as well. Here we go, Palm Beach, have some lunch, show you all around up there. That's where uh, Home and Away used to be filmed, if you, if any of you know, know of the show. They used to film it up there, but now they film it in a studio. Mm, boring. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you all in a bit. further up, closer to the Spit Bridge.
country guys I just thought of somewhere we can uh, take a little bypass to on the way I'm not going to tell you where it is I'll just surprise you I'm not actually going to go in but I'm just going to hang around the front of it being the north side of Sydney let's see if you can guess where it is As I said, we're not actually going to go in. I'm just going to ride around here, just see if we can um, see some of the views. I think I have to go back up there. Oh, we'll cruise around here a little bit, see what we can see of the outside. See there, that's the main entrance there, just on our right. Bit of bushland down to our left. See the city, Sydney City over to our right once we see some water. Okay guys, I've got an hour to get up to um, Avalon, so plenty of time. Detour here. Fuck, I never knew of this. This part here. Pretty cool, eh? Rangaroo to the left, you can see the uh, Crown Casino building, Rangaroo. Chuck a Yui here I think so we can get a bit more of this view and head back up. Yeah, where's a good gap in the trees? Not really one there to... Park use fee machine. What the fuck? <laughs> Charge you to use the park. <laughs> get fucked. Only in Sydney, eh? To charge you to use a national park. I guess if you've got to maintain that stuff, that costs money. So. Come on, damn it. Give me a view between the trees. Yeah. Wonder how far the drop is down there. Not very far, but you don't want to fall down. Bit of a gap here. Yeah, you got the Sydney Opera House there on the left. And obviously the Harbour Bridge and Barangaroo sort of a bit further end to the left as well. That's Opera House just there, the white building, as you probably all know. I believe that's Garden Island military base out there as well that you can see just before the Opera House. Yeah. Anyway. I might go up, uh, head back up to the zoo and see if we can see a bit, bit of the zoo, front of the zoo, and then we'll take off up to Avalon.
here and see what we can see of the zoo. You might be able to see, you know, the back part of it. It sort of runs all the way down, and there's a part of the zoo where you can sort of walk down and sort of look out over the water. So maybe we can see that part. I'm not 100% sure. As I said, I haven't been here since I was a kid, so. <laughs> and that was like nearly 40 something years ago, 40 odd years ago. Maybe, maybe less than 40, but yeah. 35 something, I don't know. on like a downhill so if you walk all the way to the bottom and look out over the harbour you gotta walk all the way back up. <laughs> so I'm gonna head back up and uh, can't get this job done I think. Yeah that's uh the front of Taronga Zoo and the view you have the back across the harbour sort of kind of from the zoo. Remember, the monkey enclosure actually looks a little bit like that. Anyway, let's go get this job done, eh? The fun part of the ride, the spit bridge. The speed camera back up there at the top, they got a speed camera at the bottom. No point of taking him, mate, because the lane ends. Over there, of, uh, I think that's pretty sure that'd be Seaforth over there, the other side of the water. My, uh, I had an uncle that lived over there, I'm not sure where he's moving. I think he's still on this north side, but when I was a young kid, I had a uh, place over there. We're not far up the road, I think, so. Yeah. Okay, here we go if you're watching. Cousin Vince actually services my car. He's a uh, he's got a mechanic workshop up at uh, Pennant Hills. I think it is Pennant Hills Way. That's a bit more west of where we are here. Jump that other lane. Yeah, fuck it. Hopefully the bridge isn't up. The bridge is up. It'll take about fucking ten minutes here. Oh, the bridge is up. What happens? It's a bridge, and it's one of the last remaining bridges like this in Australia. But it actually rises like that, up and down, um, at certain times of the day. So. This is, uh, yeah, as I said, as you can probably tell, it's quite quite a well-off area of Sydney as well. Nice big houses over there on the cliff. Now what they do as well on this bridge, they um, play around with the lanes at certain times of the day. Sort of to allow traffic to flow because they can't, can't do much else. They only built the bridge, sort of I think it's uh, four or five lanes, three and two in each direction. So they close that right lane and up further up on the bridge they mess about with it too. They close the lane here and um, so as you can see just up ahead they're forcing us all into I think it's two lanes. Because they've closed that part there. Bit of a pain in the ass but fuck it, who cares? Bit West Reserve. There's boats over there. Very expensive boats, sorry. 
Shopping centre. Big one here on the uh, northern beaches. And this here is uh, with the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles play rugby league. Currently called Four Points Park. Another name I like. I prefer Warringah Oval myself. But you know, all these stadiums being changed. Names being changed to fucking corporate sponsorship interests. Yeah. I think they just beat Canterbury on the weekend as well. I think that was uh, Manly beat Canterbury. I'm not sure of the score, but yeah. Didn't even know that Manly made the finals. <laughs> yeah, just coming up Big Water Road here. Got about, should be there in about half an hour. Half an hour, 40 minutes. That uh, job done took about 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, about took about three hours. Um, it was a bit, I had to actually, with a few of them, I had to drill the holes that um, the new holes for the new handles, but some were used the old holes, so yeah, um, all went well. Customer was happy, um, kind of do a bit, 
a little bit quiet with it. She was just putting the kid to bed when, like, towards the end of when I was doing it, which was funny. Um, but yeah, have a look at this view, guys. Saying Palm Beach is where they uh, where they filmed. I'm, I'm I'm not sure if they're filming. You saw they were filming something there. They used to film Home and Away here. I mean, they might still do bits and pieces here. I'm not 100% sure, but um, that's what they may possibly be filming there. I do not know. But uh, yeah, just have a little ride around here, see what we can see. A bit of fun, and it'll take off home again. So I believe if you directly sort of to our left there, that next part is the Sydney, the start of the Sydney Central Coast, home of the mighty Central Coast Mariners. out of the oven or probably probably a couple of months old when they popped out of the oven recently so uh, yeah nice job made a little bit of money
fish and chips. <coughs> Indeed, it is fish and chips. This is Palm Beach Surf Lifesaving Park. Oh. So where we were before was North Palm Beach. So north of here. So sort of come around the headland to Palm Beach. This motorbike spot. No, I don't think there are any motorbike spots. But fuck it, we'll uh, go and see. Road, ticketed parking, every day is except sign, yeah. I'll uh, take a ticket, I think, and grab some lunch. Okay, just had a nice, uh, nice lunch there. Just had a fish burger and a bottle of water. Made my chips. And it cost me $28. But, you know, fuck it. And a funny story, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know where I'm going, I was sort of sitting there, I was just finishing my burger. There's some American tourists sitting behind me, and uh, I heard one of them say, oh, here he comes. That was sort of a parking guy, so... Actually, we got to take a ticket, and I could have got a mad fine that would have wiped out all the, uh money I made today from that job so <laughs> had to quickly run out and jump back on the bike it's Palm Beach nice isn't it even even in winter they call it winter spring Anyway, I might head back uh, back home, but um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that house on fucking Barron Joe Road. It was insane, the size of it, the shape of it. When I'm uh, getting a bit closer, I'll turn the cam back on and, um, and show you all. Alrighty, I'll uh, see you then. Sorry dude, I thought it was a lookout. Let's further back that way. Residents only. Alrighty. Sorry. This bus. There's a lookout. Too long here as well as might get some uh, residents come up and tell us off or something. Look at these places, look how high up they are. Did you get up that driveway? Back it up, no worries. <laughs> Yeah. We're doing something inside of there. Yeah, we're building. We're sort of 
semi finished it. Into the cliff. Some of this place will be packed. Another thing I'll mention about this area, that I've noticed a few other times I've come up here recently, that everyone, like teenagers to sort of people in their sort of mid to late twenties, maybe even early thirties as well, they all own, well not all, but Heaps of them own Dorothy Rover e-bikes. They're everywhere. Um, they're cool bikes and that, but um, I wouldn't get one simple. Oh, for food that was simple because they're not not capable for what I want to do with it. But um, I'm sure cruising along here we'll see another one somewhere. I've seen five or eight today. <laughs> Cougars learning to swing. If you know what I mean. I'm talking golf. <laughs> what did you think I fucking mean? <laughs> job I earned 117 bucks. Um, the total amount was 150 as I said but uh, Air Tusk could take their think from that they took 30 something dollars. That's uh, whatever. But, um, yeah I made 117 bucks. Went to that uh, that burger place up at Palm Beach too. That, that was actually a nice burger. I was so surprised. Um, yeah, it was good, but adding, adding chips to it would have made it a bit better value for the money. Um, but I'm not going to complain too much. I've done enough of that last week. <laughs> um, yeah, good day all in all, nice weather, everything went well. So yeah, signing off. I'll uh, catch you all in the next video, wherever and whenever it may be.